How to use Clockify Time Tracker. Clockify tutorials for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we'll be taking a quick look at how you can get started with Clockify. So let's get into it. Now, Clockify is a free to use online time tracking service that allows you to track your time, to create time sheets, and lets you log your work hours for project or even permanent work. So it's an amazing platform. It allows you time management features like timers, timesheets, calendars, automatic tracking, and kiosk. And you have basic reporting functions. You have scheduling tools as well. So you can schedule work. You have time off, approval, invoicing, and expenses. And it really is a all-in-one tool for you to use if you want to do uh, all of your, if you're like a small business like mine, it was very difficult for me to be able to log hours and do all that manually. So I used Clockify and trust me, it is a great way to keep it simple, especially if you are just starting out. So let's get into it. Now you just want to go on to clockify.me and click on sign up for free. And you can start time tracking now they also have like an application and you can just sign up by your email address that's all you need so once you log on you will be able to see this a little section so this is basically my clockify uh clockify dashboard now i do recommend downloading clockify and using it as like an application instead of just like a desktop item because it just makes it a little simpler but you can see I have my account set already and it's a very basic account. So now to get started, let's get into, uh, you know, timesheets, time trackers and calendars. So timesheets basically allow you to manage time on a specific project. So you can click on over here and find a project or find a client that you can, uh, that you are working for, or you can just click on create new project. Let's say we are, um, so before I get into timesheets, let's, directly go into the manage section and let's get into project. So let's say I want to click on create new project and let's say we have a new project for, so let's say we're doing SEO for Durden and I can add any kind of client name over here. Uh, so let's say it's for Durden and I can just uh, go on ahead and create a Durden client. And then you have templates. If you want to use templates, you have to upgrade, but I'm just going to paste it as it is. And we are going to use the purple color, click on create over here. And now a new project by the name of Durden has been created. And if I go into clients, you can see Durden has been added as a client. I can click on the right side over here and enter email addresses, client address, notes as well. Now, after that, you have your team section. In your team section, you want to add all of the members. You have you can group your members as well. So let's say certain people are working in sales. Maybe certain people are working in SEO. Certain people in different categories. Obviously, your business has different categories. Some people might be managers. Some might be uh, employees or uh, floor workers. So you can categorize them in different groups. You can just click on add. So let's say I have a new group called managers i can just add that as a group and you can add the members that are managers so you can put out certain permissions as well so certain items or certain um projects might only be for managers so you can just make the access limited to them now going back to our project uh you can see we have seo for durden now if i click on the project and click on seo for durden you will be able to see any of the tasks the access who is able to access so if it's private that means only people that will be added can view it if it's public that means all of the people in your uh clockify team will be able to see it so uh, let's say your day-to-day -day tasks let's say we are running a uh online store and uh, managing uh emails is everyone's task so i would make a uh, server for that the e-commerce email project and i would uh, leave the access at public but let's say seo is private and only a few members are in charge of seo i would only add them then you have the status so how many billable and non-billable hours have been covered then you have the forecast note and settings so in your settings you have billable by default so all new entries on this project will be initially set as billable we're going to set that at yes and then you can add your hourly rate so you can click on set rate over here and let's say hourly we're doing um seven dollars an hour and this is the time entry so time entries from this time and onwards or let's say it's eight dollars an hour 
and now I'm going to click on save. Now after that you have your project estimate. So choose how you want to wish your, you know, you want a estimate to be. So let's say we have a time estimate and you can also do a project budget. Uh, this is a premium feature, but if you just calculate it reverse, so you can, uh, you know, analyze how much time is going to end up as how many billable work hours and how much money it's going to be. And you can add that as your specific um, hours that you want. So we have manual and let's say we want uh, it's $8 an hour. Let's say we have a budget of under $1,000. So eight into a hundred is going to be 800 and eight into 120. 8 into 110, 120. Yeah. So let's say our budget is under $1,000. So 127 or 122. Yeah. So 126. So I would add 126 hours as the maximum number of hours that I want, you know, the overall time that I wish to spend on this project. Now, after that, you can go back into tasks and start adding new tasks from the right side. So on the top right, you have your task section. And let's say, so on the top right, you have your task section. And let's say we have tasks as um, analyze the dirt and store website. The second store is provide SEO keywords. Then we have add backlinks. Obviously, I'm just leaving this out as, you know, pretty simple tasks. Now, after that, you can assign this to a certain member if one person is supposed to accomplish it. You also can see the active members and you can assign tasks according to who is active at what time. This can really help you in speeding up your work. And you also have uh, the mark as done section. So, now, after you have your project set up, you have your clients, all of that set up, you can go into time tracker over here. And let's say we have uh, something we are working on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter the project. So you can just click on the right side over here and SEO for Durden. And I'm currently working on this. And let's say I'm working on backlinks. And now I can just click on the start or stop. So you can just click on the start over here. And you can add a specific tag as well if it applies. And you can see the hours are now being tracked. You can start working and it's going to start logging that time, providing an estimate of how many hours you spent at this and providing a money estimate as well. Let's say if something is uh, non-billable. So for example, let's say I'm working for SEO Durden, but these are non-billable hours. I'm just going to click on the icon over here and this will be unselected. If it's not blue, that means it's not selected and which means uh, that it is not going to be labeled as billable hours. So that is obviously managers can manage that. They can change it up as well. And any of the entries that you put in can be deleted or duplicated. Now, next up, you have a timesheet. A timesheet just allows people to log their work. Let's say for this, you were working for 44 minutes or let's say we have this many minutes and instead of having to um so instead of having to add you know the hours or the minutes or you know having to open up the app and track it you can just log it on on a timesheet and see the total time that you spent on a certain project or uh, a certain task in a project now, next up, you also have a calendar. The calendar provides you with a weekly or a daily estimation of the number of hours that have been put in uh, by you or even by your teammates as well. And then you have your analyze section, which just helps you in seeing the total time spent, the top project and the top client that you have, as well as some other features like reporting where you can get detailed reports, attendance sheets. So you can click on attendance over here and this is like a standard feature on Clockify. If you do want these kinds of uh, features like attendance, uh, detailed expenses, then you do have to upgrade. But I do think that even the free features on um, Clockify are pretty much worth it for a small business just trying to set up a basic uh, time tracking service. Now, the, at the bottom, you will find kiosks and kiosks allow people to plug in and out of a specific uh, device. So you can activate this and let's say you have provided work laptops to all of your employees. Now, what this will do is you can click on create kiosk. You know, you can enter a name. You can enter this and you can add the default project for that and you can require a pin as well if you want. 
and you have you know this specific kiosk link and you can click on copy and you can just send them to your workers and they can just open this up and be able to work from their uh from a different device and be able to still log their hours so i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next video